Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, and I'm back with you to share you tip number 26 from my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sublimation Success. This tip is for PC folks. I don't know of a Macintosh equivalent, but what we're going to do in just a second is I'm going to show you a secret place in, in Windows where you go and you can set a secret feature for the printer so that it will remember your print jobs. One of the things that, that happens a lot to, to a lot of us is we're in the habit of printing the same job over and over again. Maybe it's a large job where the copy count is say 100 and we want to print in small increments, say 10 pages each or something like that. Well, there's a feature we're going to turn on in Windows that will tell Windows to save our print jobs instead of deleting them and that way we can replay the job over and over again. This feature has many advantages because you don't need your application anymore, you could close it, and you're replaying the job precisely like you printed the last 10, so it's very exact. And so I love to use this feature, I recommend you turn it on, and that way, for instance, let's say the job doesn't print right because you had the wrong size paper in it or something is wrong on the printer side of things, well, it's real easy to go to your printer folder and to simply replay the job again. And then when you're completely finished with the job, you can delete the jobs from the printer queue. First, what we're going to do is we're going to head to our printer folder and you might go Start, Control Panel, you might go to Settings. I've got my printers right here for me, so we're going to go to the printer folder. All right, for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to go up here to my GX7000 demo and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go down to Properties. Now for Windows 7 folks, they've renamed Properties. Windows 7 folks will see it as Printer Properties. But for XP and Vista, we go to Properties. Okay, here's our Standard Properties tab and we're going to pop over to the Advanced tab, Advanced tab. And you may have never noticed this, but down here, right here it says Keep Printed documents. Keep printed documents. Okay? That's what it said. We're going to check that. Then we're going to go down here to apply. Okay? And then we're going to hit OK. Now, when we print our documents, um, they're going to be saved in here, and you can see they're already saved in here because I turned off the feature before I started this video. And all we need to do is go in and pick any one of them and we can right click on it and we can left click on restart right there and that will cause that job to to replay again as if you were doing a tape recording and you'd play it over and over again and so when you're ready to get rid of it and you don't need any more you can highlight it and then push the delete key or right click on it and um, and cancel it so it's a great feature for saving you time and effort when you've got a complex print job, you moved on to the next subject, or you need to print, print many copies of it, and you need to space them out. Just has a multitude of ways to save you time and money um, to keep your, you on the road to sublimation success. One thing to keep in mind is that for the Ricoh printers, um, if you try to install a Ricoh printer or reinstall the driver, if you've got printers that already have print jobs in them because you've saved them, you'll need to clear that out because the Ricoh driver looks at the printers and if there are any previous jobs still that it sees as unprinted, it's not going to install the driver. So one little, little glitch with the Ricoh driver installation. Please give me some feedback. My email address is dgross at condi.com. Let me know what you want to hear more about. Till next time, thank you.